Hello there, Taurus, and welcome to your May 2019 reading. Really great to see you again. Apollo says hello as well. And um, I just want to remind you, if this is your first time here, you can use these monthly readings for your sun, your rising, as well as your moon sign. And if there's someone in your life that you care about, you can watch the video for them as well. Don't worry if you don't happen to know all three signs because uh, you can just follow the sign that you were born under and you'll get more than enough information there. All right, let's talk now about the format for this video. I'm going to be getting into some channeled information, which we'll talk about in just a moment. Then I look at a full Celtic cross, which really gives you the main information that you need to focus on in a given month. And then I expand it into areas that I think everybody appreciates, including health, wealth, love, and destiny. If you stick around until the end, I also give a closing word. And right before that, there's a chance for you to give back if this is something that you like. And I usually talk about how you can join me on social media, like and subscribe here, of course. And if you want to donate, you can do that as well. So if you do enjoy this, stick around until the very end. Not only will I give you some closing words, but also I'll go into everything that I just mentioned. All right, let's not delay any more. Let's talk about your channeled information. Each and every month, I select a deck of cards and I meditate. I do this before I begin, just so that I can tap into um, something from a raw intuition perspective. As I was closing my eyes and uh, seeing what images came to me, I actually saw you kind of running between what looked like a valley. And um, the first thing that I wrote down was to shrink the distance. And you'll see underneath in this, I also wrote Tesseract. And what I was looking at was you kind of like trying to get up the hill and I remembered um, back when I was a kid when reading like A Wrinkle in Time, you can kind of take the distance here and go from end to end rather than running across. So what this kind of came to me as uh, symbolizing for you is to really focus on the proper timing and also making sure that everything is aligned so that you maybe have a bridge in order to get to something. This could be a contact in your life. This could be the training that you need. Um, this could also be a way of thinking outside of the box, not having to always go the long way. There might be something that is more efficient, that is more, um, more succinct, and that's going to be the way to go. This also extends to communication. Brevity is really your friend this month. If there's something you want to say, try to take it down and distill it into its smallest and most important pieces, knowing that that smaller amount is going to be so much easier than someone having to read through everything. I also want to talk about the beginning part here where it says shrink the distance. If you have someone in your, um, your family or that you work with or somewhere in your life where you're just feeling like they're pulling away a little bit or maybe you haven't been doing what you normally do to just sort of be present. This is really about opening up your heart, making some room and just trying to see where they're at. Basically uh, exercising a little bit more empathy than you may normally do. So we have a message of brevity, thinking outside of the box and also trying to bridge the gap. And before you make a decision to not be impatient, there are certain things that have to, for some of you, kind of line up before you can go where you need to. Cosmic timing is at play, so be present, be aware, and don't be afraid to think of new ways to get to destinations that are important to you. All right, so with that being said, why don't we take a look now at the cards and see what additional messages are coming through for you this month. Just a reminder, I like to remain quiet at this point. Uh, like you, I want to see the cards, their arrangement, and I also like to receive additional downloads as I'm looking at the cards. So as soon as I've laid out the spread, I'll pull the camera up. We'll talk about each card one by one and how they relate to you. And if you're the kind of person that likes to really know all the positions, you can either pause it after I have pulled the spread or wait until the end and I'll do a review then. All right, thank you. All right, as I'm glancing at your cards, you have some really beautiful messages this month. 
and um, overwhelmingly positive, plus you got a bonus card that you saw uh, fly out of my hands, and I can't wait to talk about that as well. Let's begin with the first of the two catalysts. Because you have two, I think that there's this message between perception and reality, and I think the first one is the perception. So we have a Shaman of Swords card that came through in this sort of sideways position. These are beautiful circular cards, so I get additional placements, uh, or additional positions, I should say, with this particular deck. Now, with it in the side position, let's talk about what a king or a shaman of swords would be. King of swords has to do with communication. I talked earlier about having special care, making sure that you're brief, to the point, and that it, maybe there's a different way to say something or express something. It could be nonverbal. And that's why we see communication either not being uh, perceived exactly as you think, or it could be coming from an unexpected source, especially if something's sideways. So, with this, be really open when it comes to communication, and I'm going to pull this card upright because it's really interesting. You'll see that there's actually what looks like kind of a heart at the center, a flowery heart type thing, and then the voice is kind of connected to all of that. So speak from the heart, and also remember that sometimes if you're receiving feedback, it could be critical feedback, it could just be advice, try to see if that person is giving it from their lens or their experience. So you may, ha you may have to sort of be a little bit more objective or pull some additional points of view before making a big decision. Take the emotional component out and try to look at it practically. Now we'll take a look at the one that literally flew. You, could, you can see it when I was shuffling, it just kind of came out, it popped on top, and I always pay extra attention to those because I feel like that is the universe bringing our attention to something extra. So we were talking about clarity of communication, communication coming from different points of view, and now on top of this we have the Three of Swords, a very different Three of Swords than we would normally see. It's not just about the heart, this is actually about the sources or the kind of um, areas from which things are coming here. And it's really about having maybe too many cooks in the kitchen, too many people weighing in, and also trying not to get involved in somebody else's sort of heated argument. What I find very interesting on these two is that if we were to sort of like overlap them, um, you have the heart on this one, and then you could put the three of swords right on top of that heart, even though again, this is a sword suit. Um, you're actually talking about this emotional component and the way to find a solution or to be the middle person, because you might have to be that, um, that voice of reason this month, is to try to not put yourself here, but to try to help everybody see what their common interest is. So if you were to take a Venn diagram and you have that center point, you're really trying to find where all of the, uh, the possible dissenting voices or opinions have some sort of a convergence. And this is also kind of going back to you being in that valley that I was seeing earlier. And what you want to try to do is avoid that, that zone altogether and try to get above it. And I think that's also kind of what I was seeing. And shrinking the distance, shrinking the distance between all these differing points of view. So try your best, if you can, to help people see that it may not be so much about what they're feeling, but there might be a bigger solution or a bigger motivating factor that can help everybody go in the right direction. A lot of times this is just the greater good. We have to do this because it's going to be good for the family, for the company, for the world, whatever, and that usually can kind of get people out of their, their personal objections or uh, the emotions that are kind of galvanizing. So that's the advice, and I will say this, that uh, communication will either sort of make or sink your efforts this month because it was all swords and we had a king and a three of swords, so you're going to have to try to work with delivering communication in a way that is kind-hearted but also direct and trying not to get lost in a sea of emotions or a sea of words, and if you do this, you'll be successful. Now, that is the tricky point. Um, it's interesting that it kind of all happened in the catalyst because the rest of the spread seems really, really um, much more even than what I saw there. Your center card this month is the Ace of Pentacles, and it's really great because this, uh, this is showing the change of seasons that a lot of us are going through. So whether it's uh, going into springtime or going into fall, this is showing death and rebirth and that energy of renewal, and that's really what's in front of you. And doesn't really matter which particular season, if you're Northern or Southern Hemisphere, this is a time now of growth and it's going to, um, the speed that things are happening should start to pick up for you. 
I love that we see a coin or maybe even an egg here at the center showing the ability to create, to uh, share new things. And uh, I really feel like this is a good month for those of you that might be job seeking or trying to share an idea with somebody or really trying to get a handle on your overall finances and resources. That is the heart of this month. And it is tempered a little bit by communication, but you have a lot of growth potential. Crossing that center card, we have the beautiful star. And the star card reminds you that this is a time where you may be challenged to take a more active or a more visible role. And it's also encouraging you to work towards integration, transparency, and honesty. The star card won't allow you to hide. So it's also suggesting that because it's on top of a money card or a resource card, you really wanna take a look at your finances in your life. And it doesn't matter what stage of living you're in, whether you're young and planning for the future, your midlife, or you're retired, this is saying there might be something that you could do better because there is a growth and a potential card underneath it. So take a look at everything and, and think to yourself, what is it that I'm either afraid of looking at? What can I do better? What, is there something else that perhaps I haven't given a chance? And this could be a, a, an opportunity to do an exciting change in your life. Maybe go on a trip that you'd always wanted to or go after a career or a course of study that is near and dear to your heart and to your soul as well. Uh, so I will say also, even though we have really positive cards, because we have those communication cards, which can also be connected to contracts and maybe even an audit, what you want to also do is make sure that everything is to the letter of the law. If you own your own business or if you file your own taxes, just get a really close look at everything that you've done and make sure that, uh, that you're good to go. Because again, this is a visibility card, the star on the money. So more attention to money, more attention to finances and resources. So this isn't the time to, uh, to cut a corner there, okay? And as we look now at deep past, for many of you, I see that You've been working hard on trying to uh, hone your skills a little bit and hopefully get better at your craft. And the frustrating thing whenever we see either the Five of Swords, which we have here, or the Five of Wands is that this card is saying, good job, but keep working. There's still a little bit of work to be done for some of you on getting to that level of higher knowledge, or I talked earlier about that, the idea of a Tesseract that you need sort of a bridge that's going to allow for you to go from point A to point B. So you don't wanna rush it, but you do wanna keep an eye out for when that timing is right. So keep your eye on what your goal is, keep working hard, and when that opportunity comes, seize it because those bridges don't happen all the time, and that's what this is kind of saying for you. In your recent past, we have temperance reversed. There's a message here to not lose hope, don't get impatient, and to give things time to be fully Baked, whether it's an idea, whether it's uh, if you're, you're writing or creating something and you really want to feel that what you're conveying feels good to you before you share it, I think this is the message here. And it's interesting that you kind of see them creating something here in that chalice. You'll see that in different temperance cards as well. Sometimes they're like uh, stirring what looks like a soup or a magic brew. And that's what you're doing this month is you're putting together all of the component pieces and when it's ready, when everything's cooked, when it's ready to share, then you're gonna work your magic. So the Five of Swords is saying, keep, keep crafting it, keep working at it, and you will know when the time is right. You'll know when everything is um, as succinct, as sharp, as easy to digest as possible. In your crowning position, you have the Two of Pentacles, and it's reminding you to limit your scope, limit what you're gonna commit yourself to. It's a card normally of balance. Now the card is reversed, which is showing that it's necessary to achieve that balance. For some of you, you might find that you're burning the candle more at one end than the other. You're putting too much time at work, not enough time at home, or your, your personal time is encroaching on school or, or something is kind of competing a little bit. And that's actually why we see one side of the coin kind of eating the other. We have this, um, this sense of trying to kind of consume an already finite resource. So limit your scope and remember that there is something here. We have one coin at the center and two at the top. There's something that is your primary focus. Let that one shine. Again, the star was on top of it. And the other one, it's time to maybe push back or remind that person, place, or entity that this is a, a chance for you to focus on something else that's important. So once you've done that, once you've created healthy boundaries and communicated your truth, you'll be okay. 
you can't make everyone happy. This card was reversed, but you need to make yourself happy. And the Four of Cups card here is a, a reminder that sometimes what you're looking for is right in front of you or right beneath you in this particular illustration. And what you want to do is not feel weighted down by something. This particular elephant is kind of walking on um, what it looks like vessels here, a broken glass. And I would say for you, if you could feel a sense that you've got this, that it's not going to be more difficult than you think. And if you can embrace whatever sort of final stages there are to this task at hand or your overall goals and start to get excited about every moment. Think it's a blessing. I can make it beautiful. It's going to be perfect when I share it. It's going to be like these, um, these sort of chalices or these clay pots here. It's going to be a work of art. And then you start to think, I can, I can take this. I'm, gonna, I'm going to do this. It's no longer something where you're worried or thinking about, I wish I was doing something else. Be present. Wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, be as present as possible. And I had a great piece of advice from a, a spiritual teacher once who said, never do something half-hearted. She used different words, but I'm going <laughs> to, I'll take it higher. Um, but never do something half-hearted. You always want to put your full intent and your full soul into whatever it is in front of you because it's an extension of who you are. And at the end of your days and at the end of whatever project it is you're working on, um, someone's going to remember you for that effort. And you want the aggregate and the sort of culmination of your life to be people thinking, that was a great person. They helped me. They always gave their all. So even if you're not loving what you're doing right now, try to finish that task and then get closer to what it is that you want to do. And know that in a surprising or unexpected way, this may play a role that you didn't understand at the time. We don't always see the puzzle pieces from a cosmic viewpoint, but everything that we've called into our existence it's, it's serving a purpose. Once you realize the lesson and the purpose, you can release it and move on to something bigger. Partnership is going to play a really important part this month. In your soul position, we have the Four of Wands. It's reversed, but this is always a positive card. Um, it's showing you that you have more love, more support than you might realize. You just might have to tap into that level of support because for whatever reason, it might be hard to ask for it. Or you could be at a point where people around you are constantly kind of tapping you on the shoulder and saying, hey, I need this from you, or could you help me? So know that all of that goodwill that you've done, it's still there, and this can be your time to say, hey, I really want your help or need your help on this. Can I count on you? As I'm looking at the environment card, I feel like some of you are either ready for love or ready to receive more in your relationships. So if you're in an existing relationship, this could be the balance thing that we're talking about. With the Ace of Cups in reverse, some of you may have been doing sort of the lion's share of the work, or you realize that your partner is, and now it's your time to step forward. Wherever the imbalance is, you can start to create, like I said, boundaries earlier, communicate your needs, your wants, your dreams as well, and allow your partner to be present and step in. If you're single and happily single, this is showing you that it's time to channel some of your energy into endeavors that mean something to you. Passion doesn't have to go into a person. It can go into a place. It can go into a thing. It's all about that um, sort of creative force. And we can use the energy for whatever we want. I will say, though, if you're looking to begin something new, this is a good month. It's also a good month for proposing an idea or proposing to a person. We have the card of pitching and proposal right at the center, the Ace of Pentacles. We have a partnership card in the ego. And we have a card that can show love and receiving love here in the environment. Um, there's two reversals here in the ego and the environment, but the center card shows that you can get what you want if you put your mind to it. And perhaps for some of you, if you get past any sort of fears, because I think the reason that the soul and the environment is reversed is a feeling of, am I worthy of this? Can I accept this? And that's only a question that you can answer. But I challenge you to think, yes, I can, because once you do, the universe wants to just bring in all of these opportunities from what I'm seeing here. Now, in your hopes, fears, desired action, we have the Emperor card. And this is a card of ownership. So some of you, especially when we couple it with the Star card, are being pushed towards coming forward and saying, I'm ready to do this. You could be stepping forward and asking for a promotion. You could be stepping forward and saying, I love you, and wanting someone to be a part of your life. You could be deciding to create your own company. You could also just be deciding to change something big about your life. 
because it's time now. Maybe you want to go back to school or maybe you want to um, just just become the best version of yourself possible. But accountability is where everything is headed this month. And through that accountability and ownership comes the King of Cups, which is happiness, expression, creativity, and for some of you, um, a strong water sign coming in that might be a partner, um, partner in love, partner in business. But this card also shows your ability to tap into that creative flow, and it shows that there will be easier waters ahead for you than there might have been in the past. And I think you're going to be able to navigate through those communication issues that we saw in the catalyst. Let's now expand your forecast. We're going to take a look at health, wealth, love, and destiny. And uh, beginning with health, knowing that it's mind, body, and spirit, let's see what the message is for you. Your message this month really focuses more on the emotional component of mind, body, and spirit. Uh, what I'm getting here is the feeling of needing to be recognized, needing to recognize others. And if there's anything in your life that's going on that somehow makes you feel not important, not valuable, this card is reminding you that it's important to remember that that's one point of view, someone else's perhaps, but what's most important for yourself is a feeling of self-love, self-respect, um, acceptance and knowing that what you feel inside absolutely projects out to others. When you believe that you are ready, that you are worthy, that basically anything that is important to you is worth listening to, then others are more inclined to listen and embrace you. So there's a little work this month for many of you that can be done on that feeling of self-love and for some of you it could also be just about making time to do things that bring joy and passion and expansion into that heart space. The heart, particularly the heart chakra, let's put it that way, the heart chakra can almost infinitely expand. It can receive as much love as you allow it and it can give as much as you feel like giving. So I want you to focus really on meditating in the heart center and doing as much as you can to help, to heal, and to grow the energy in that space. Because we're looking in the context also of health and physicality here, um, I would say be kind to your heart. Cardiovascular activity is a great thing to do. Also, whenever I'm looking at a cups card, it can have to do with how much you're drinking, um, both in alcohol and in water, and making sure that, as with anything, we have moderation and balance this month. I think if you do that, you'll be into a, a good sort of energy, both in the metaphysical and the physical, and that's all we can ask any given month. Let's go ahead now and move along to your wealth card, which is not just money or career opportunities, but also your self-worth and how you embrace the opportunities in front of you. In your wealth position, we have this medicine woman card that says, you are a channel for divine healing power. And what's interesting with the card and with channeling in general is, Channeling requires both ends to be active. You, as the sort of conduit here, have to think to yourself, I'm ready to activate. I'm ready to reach out and say, I need help, perhaps. I'm ready to get excited and passionate about what I'm doing. I'm ready to take a chance and integrate all of my interests and step out and be the point person for something important in my life. In doing this, I know that I can actually be uh, in a place where there's going to be abundance, fertility, and sustainability. But I have to balance out my priorities. And most importantly, I have to be the one that says I'm ready and I kind of steer the ship. As you know, I channel. I channel energy. I also channel information. Energy in particular, I have to close my eyes and I have to connect with something higher. And I open myself up, but I'm also very specific in what I'm opening to. For money, for finances, it's the same thing. You have to stay focused. You have to have a vision of what you're trying to do. And once you allow that to start to flow and think, I'm ready, it's going to work, and feel the energy, feel the excitement, you're unstoppable. So you can start to create rapid, sustainable, and very interesting growth, especially since we have the star card here, um, if you believe in it and if you're ready to take the reins. But this card, um, on a sort of much more basic level, if I'm, if I'm kind of getting too esoteric for you, this can be simply saying, I'm ready to ask for help. 
You could be looking for the guidance of a financial advisor. You could be looking for the advice of a mentor. You could also be looking within to see, does this feel right? Because at the end of the day, it's your heart, it's your soul that's the most important on this. Other people help echo what you feel and help you sort of come to terms with what you already know. It's kind of like the matrix. Um, you're not always kind of finding out something that wasn't there. You're just understanding why you've made a decision. So this is saying, if you're ready, if you're ready to turn that switch, then it will happen, it will flow, and change can happen in a very, very positive and even a restorative or a healing way. So if you felt like there was debts or opportunities that were missed, this is the month to, uh, to kind of find that, that gap and, and overcome it and start to go to uh, sunnier roads ahead. So I'm excited for you. That's a great card to come through, but it does require accountability and readiness on your part. So do a little soul searching and see where you're at. And if you're ready, go for it. All right, let's go ahead now. We looked at health and wealth. We're gonna look at love. Uh, before I shuffle the cards, I just wanna remind you, love is not just about romantic relationships. It's about how you can express love, be ready for more love, and because we saw the Ace of Cups in reverse, perhaps do a little bit of healing for yourself this month in order to really be in a place where that self-love and that acceptance exists. Isn't it interesting that as we were looking at the health card, we got the same message here, you are loved. This one is slightly different, which is you deserve love. And I think if we take the aggregate of this, again, once you love yourself, once you believe in that, you'll start to open up to people in your life that respect you, that love themselves. And as a result, you're both in a higher place. If you look for someone to kind of fill a void in yourself, or if you're filling that void for someone else who doesn't love themselves, because these cards can work both ways. This is saying that it's time to go into the source, which is both parties need to be happy, fulfilled, and have to love themselves, be satisfied with themselves. So if it's your partner, if it's a friend, if there's someone in the equation that is even doing something in their life that is self-destructive, it could be you know just maybe getting involved in some sort of addictive tendencies or not respecting themselves, you or others, then this is a good signal from the universe that you can do better, they can do better, and uh, this is what's necessary for healing. But on the bright side, if you're ready for love, love is here, it's kind of knocking on the door. And this, again, could be a friendship, a deepening of an existing love, or a brand new sort of relationship. So it all depends on that rhetorical and sort of question here from the beginning, which is, are you ready to receive it? If you are, it's here. If you're not, then look, in, look inside and think, why am I not? And things will start to come into focus for you. All right, let's now take a look at your destiny card, knowing that destiny is really a chance for you, not only to see where you're headed, but to course correct if you need to do so. And uh, without any further delay, let's let the card show us what's coming through. Don't be afraid to show your true colors. This is a beautiful card. It's interesting that the little caption here is vulnerability, but the main thing that we're seeing here is growth. And I talked about earlier seeing you sort of in this valley. And I think for some of you, the valley is that emotion of vulnerability, which by the way is really necessary for all of us to get to the next stage. We can sometimes feel vulnerable when we put ourselves in situations that are unknown where we don't have as much experience. But those are oftentimes the experiences that make us grow the most and yield the most satisfaction in our lives. Also, it's the sort of human flaws that we all have, those moments when we let people in and show, hey, we're not perfect, that endear us to others, that allow them to see, this is someone I can get behind. They've been through the same things that I have. When you look at maybe some of your favorite heroines and heroes in history or in your own life, they're not picture perfect. They've had a struggle, they've had a story, but it's their perseverance, it's their ability to overcome that becomes the narrative that is the attractive force for others. Don't strive to be perfect, strive to be the best you can in every situation. And don't fear vulnerability. That vulnerability is actually what shows that you're awake, aware, and perhaps ready to create the change that wants to come through. 
this will allow you to channel all that wealth, all that prosperity, and hopefully all of that love as well. This is a perfect segue now to review everything that we talked about, and then we'll wrap up this monthly reading. Your channeled message this month was to shrink the distance and also find new ways to um, get to a, a different point, not always going the same tried and true technique or the tried and true method. This is a chance to shake things up a little bit. And we also talked about being there a little bit more for someone else. And when it comes to cosmic timing to be patient, we'll look at all the cards below and we can draw additional comparisons. Your catalyst this month is showing probably where most of the conflict is arising for many of you. And that has to do with clarity of communication and also not getting in the middle of things, trying to find a common ground so that you can all see exactly why you're going through something. As we look at your central card here, Opportunity knocks. I hope you're ready because the Ace of Pentacles is one that allows for a lot of growth, a lot of abundance. And the main thing for you is an ability or um, a willingness to sort of step forward. The Star card reminds you that if you can integrate, if you can be accountable, and we saw that a little bit with the Emperor as well, then you're ready and people are ready for you as well. Don't give up on the hard work that you've been doing. I know it can sometimes feel like the end is not in sight, but that persistence, that perseverance is what's going to make the final product or whatever it is you're trying to express about yourself uh, so well received. Be patient, don't lose hope, um, and really more importantly, try to find a balance between what's important to you and what's necessary to kind of get things done. As we look at happiness overall, there's a lot of messages about love and self-love, but I also think there's just messages here about satisfaction. The Four of Cups is always about potentially missing out on an opportunity because you're either too focused on the task at hand or you're not remembering what your bigger purpose is. Remember that you, know, you are blessed and there's a lot of things coming through for you. And this card is really saying embrace those and try to feel a sense of lightness or ability to move through things faster. For a lot of you, this will happen when you feel passion or passionate about what's in front of you. That passion is what's really going to be galvanizing and also attractive when it comes to bringing in new opportunities and new things in your life. Partnership exists if you're ready to receive it. The question is, are you? And can you also tap into all of the resources around you? There's a lot of friends and a lot of support. You've been there for them, now let them be there for you. Um, let your heart space open and know that that creative energy is going to be what really fuels you throughout the course of the, the, the entire month. And there's a big message about ownership this month. So be willing to accept uh, responsibility, accountability, and also take the reins because there's so much satisfaction once you do that. For many of you, there could also be a water sign coming in once you've worked through some of the issues of love and self-love and satisfaction that we saw as well. Going to health, reminding both yourself and maybe someone in your life that may be going through sadness or depression that they are loved, you are loved, and focusing when it comes to partnership on that higher love. There's so much energy around the heart space, you really wanna take care of your heart this month, so physical activity, especially cardiovascular, is gonna be really important. There's a chance for transitional energy when it comes to your finances. In fact, you could channel really great opportunities, but you have to be willing and ready to receive them, and that's the big question, are you ready? Remember again when we're looking at love that you're looking for unconditional love and people in your life that have already sort of sorted out that they are loved too and that they can express that love towards you. That the two of you are not missing pieces. You both are in a higher state and you're there to support one another um, in a very sort of high frequency way. And there was a big message, a beautiful message I have to say about being vulnerable, opening up and knowing that this is actually what's going to allow others to open up to you. That opening of the heart space, expressing your passion about something, once it's done and once it's executed in, a, um, in an appropriate way, and I think in a way that is coming from a place of, of just sheer joy and honesty, transparency, then it's almost impossible for other people not to be attracted to that. So that's your big opportunity this month, is to share a part of yourself or a side of yourself that you haven't before and know that this is going to endear others to you and it's also gonna just make you happy. The star card is sort of knocking on your door and saying, hey, it's time to be who you wanna be. This is what we came to the planet for. 
What's the delay? <laughs> All right, so that brings your monthly reading to a close. There was a lot of powerful messages that came later in the reading, and, um, and I think that that's part of the reason it's good to, to stick with this reading. You never know where it's going to go until you see all of the, the, com the composite parts and then all of a sudden it all clicks together. And that's what's really exciting about, for me, reading for you every month. I hope you received all of the messages and guidance that you needed this month to feel supported, aware, and ready to really embrace everything that's coming through. If you ever feel like you need a little bit of additional help because maybe there's a relationship issue that popped up, a big job opportunity and you want to look into that, or you're just ready to do some spiritual work on yourself, it's the latter that I really enjoy um, especially, um, then feel free to reach out to me. If you click on the first card in the video or the first link below the video, you can take a look at my rates and my availability and if that makes sense for you, then I'm here. If not, or if you just want to support me in a different way, you can click on the second card or the second link below the video. This is a way that you can support me for the time and energy that I put into this every month. For about every 10 minutes that you watch here, it took me about an hour or an hour and a half of actual production time to get it ready. So each video takes anywhere between three to five hours. So um, know that a little donation, $1, can go a long way, even if it's one time for the whole year, because that helps me buy some awesome cards, which you saw today, and more importantly, just set up time on my calendar to do the production. I usually take one half of a day and get everything done for one sign. So I only do one a day, and it usually takes me 12 days. So again, your support goes a long way, and for all of those of you that have been there um, and been kind enough to join me on Patreon or do a one-time donation, thank you. If you feel like doing it this month, click that second link and you can go to my website and choose whatever way feels good to you. Um, I know that some of you can't or want to support me in a different way, so if you'd like to just simply show support in a more symbolic way, you can do that by clicking like and subscribe, and a more active way to do it is to actually share it on your social networks. This is really the reason that I show up every month. I want to help as many people as possible and share this message. When you um, Put that on your Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram uh, social media feed and let others see it. It really helps me reach a wider audience, which helps the health of this channel, but also helps me achieve my goal, which is to raise consciousness and help others. So I want to say thank you for all of you that have done that. And if you click that third link, you can check out my, uh, my website, which will let you connect to all of those accounts that I mentioned and anything that I forgot, which I think I forgot to mention in the newsletter. So anyway, thank you for all of the love and support that you've given. And I like to close every reading with something to take away, something that's important. I mention each and every month that I'm trying to create teachers, light workers, and more importantly, sort of these symbolic lighthouses or searchlights. Because the more that you illuminate your own life, your own energy, the more that you can inspire those around you. This month, the big message was about not being afraid to show your true colors. This is going to inspire others because sometimes they're afraid to show who they are. This could be some sort of a coming out for some of you. It could be an announcement. It could be embracing a career path that maybe in the past other people didn't understand but feels really important and valid to you right now. Be whatever it is that you're trying to be and don't edit yourself, even if it's a subtle change that you're gonna to start to put out to the world. It's too important, your energy, your voice, your contribution to the world, it's too important. So I want you to start sharing more of yourself and more of your unique energy with the world. Uh, it will be blessed for it. I will be blessed for it as well. And I just thank you so much for allowing me to be here uh, and watching you as you evolve as well. Thank you for this opportunity. I wish you all the best now and always, and I'll see you in one month's time. Take care of yourself. Thank you.